Well, so far, this autumn thing is working out spectacularly. After a hot week that had most of our days in the 90s, today we dropped more than 20 degrees and enjoyed some 70s. We'll have comfortable weather this weekend, but a look ahead to next week, and we've got more 70s on the way. And I know most of us getting tucked into bed right now, but outside, you know it's cooler. 40s and 50s. These temperatures right now, thanks to last night's cold front, are anywhere from 14 to 16. How about 18? or even 22 degrees cooler right now in Wilson and Rocky Mount than where we were last night at 11. And while tomorrow isn't going to be as perfect, still not too shabby. It starts off cool with temperatures in the upper 40s. That's the coolest since May, nearly five months. I do have a chance of a sprinkle in the afternoon. Otherwise, we're mostly sunny. Temperatures climbing up to 76 by the afternoon. And I'm going to send you into the weekend with this super sunset from Key West. An amazing shot from Stephen. Thanks so much. That actually right there is sports director Chris Clark's, one of his many yachts out there in Key West. But we love this super sunset and the ship. And I'll put it on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page just as soon as I'm done here. And Chris has got some high school football just as soon as I'm done here. So let's walk through the weekend quickly because there's not a whole lot going on, but it's not 100% dry. We've got a few fair weather clouds throughout the day tomorrow. You see a little bit of rain showing up to our west. That's what I'm thinking might show up in the afternoon as a sprinkle. Otherwise, a few extra clouds, but once again, temperatures in the 70s. So tomorrow, 10% maybe. Sunday, it's a dry day. As we start off Sunday morning at 8 a.m., you see we've got some sunshine. And it'll stay that way most of the day until a little batch of rain slides through Sunday night. So your day is dry, but there's still a chance of rain in the evening. Now on to the big story in the tropics. Tropical depression number nine, like we told you at the top of the newscast, is now Tropical Storm Ian. The ninth name storm of the season. It's still very disorganized, but over the weekend it'll continue to move west and then late in the weekend turn to the north where it will explode Sunday into Monday from a tropical storm to a Cat 2 hurricane around Cuba and then around Florida next Tuesday or Wednesday. So it could be some tough stuff for our friends in Florida early next week, but where does it go after that? There's several possibilities. We don't know which one's going to happen, to be honest with you. The best would be if it shoots offshore. No impacts for us here in North Carolina. It could come right over us. That would be our biggest impact. Or if it stays out to the west of us, we could have minor impacts. Again, we don't know yet. We'll have to watch it over the weekend. Enjoy your weekend. And by the time I see you again on Monday, we'll have a good idea of what's going to happen for us late next week. In the meanwhile, our first weekend of fall will be in the 70s and 80s. Should be a nice one with low humidity. Another cold front Sunday into Monday will give most of next week's temperatures in the 70s, even for next weekend into October. And again, we've got some rain right now possible next weekend. We'll keep an eye on the tropics. Right now, Chris Clark is keeping an eye on high school football. Here's the Blitz.